is the Minecraft Trekkie. Um, I'm here with CreeperRot23. I'm going to help him showcase his Archer class. So I hope you guys enjoy. I'm going to give it off to him. Hey, everybody. All right, so yeah, this is the Archer class. Um, it doesn't have an official name yet. Well, the name of the ship, anyway. Um, the name that I've come up with at the moment is Chimera. Isn't it pronounced USS Chimera. I think it's pronounced Shimra, isn't it? It's Chimera. Okay, I well, guess I'm not smart. <laughs> well, I don't know. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure it's Chimera, though. Okay, so, yeah, um, so that, that's the ongoing name at the moment. This is Legos, right? Yeah, it's definitely Legos. All right, so if you'll follow me since you're the camera at the moment, I have can't record my screen on the computer yet. I am a camera. Yes, there's a good chance I'm actually going to get a computer soon that I can record on, so hopefully I'll have some PC videos there, but yeah. His, his so channel is in the description, like it's been there for well, the past 70 videos. <laughs> but yeah, so as you just saw, that's the main airlock. What's this? On the port side. And You have a oh, it's, bit of stone. Just, it's, just, <laughs> it's just covering the hull. Okay. Yeah, so I guess we'll start going to the left first. So yeah, these are the crew quarters. This supposedly has a crew of 14 people, and I, and I, they all kind of sleep in bunks at different times, so they don't have to actually be 14 beds. Well, there um, are 14 beds. Is someone not going to be able to sleep or something? Or are there going to be extra beds? They don't have to sleep at the same time. Like, in the research I did on the ship, they, like, it's called hot bunking, so some people will sleep Ooh. in the ship. This is the captain's quarters. Um, got the nice touch. And, and everything. Yeah, this sure, whatever. A suggestion: I think you can move this couch um over a little bit. It might get in front of the in the way of the door, yeah. but the, the bed's a little bit. Yeah, whatever. That that's that's I can fix that later. Uh, the la these, these are the only two rooms that aren't finished yet. These two labs. There's one on the other side. Uh, it'll just have some random sciencey stuff in it. Who knows? Wow, dude. If this were on my then... track, you'd be promoted by now. Wow. Ha ha ha. And then in here is the captain's ready room, which obviously there's a desk, and then it also has a door that leads to the same bathroom as the... Um, How do you get there? Quarters. Well, in real life, you'd be able to push the chair in, but it's Minecraft, whatever. In real life, you'd be able to sit up on the windowsill right here. All right, and then let's go back into the... Let's go to the bridge from there instead of... I'm sorry if I keep ramming into it. My fingers are clumsy right now. No problem. Yeah, so here's the main bridge. Actually, it's the only bridge. This is gorgeous. Uh, thank you. It's mostly based on the TOS kind of style because that's when the ship is uh, was built. So, um, yeah, it's a pretty simple bridge. It's smaller than most, but, I mean, it works, and it looks pretty good in my well, opinion. Well, for so. the size, you sure really use your size well. What does that even mean? I don't know. <laughs> uh, you you used the... up the space well. That's what I mean. Thank you. Yeah, here's, here's the conference room. Ah, jeez. And it's also, it's kind of works as a lounge, too. It's Since it's such a small ship, they kind of have to have double purposes for each room. I had to close a window. It was bringing it to the taskbar. Okay. All right. And then here is the mirror of that lab that was over there. Uh, and then the, the quarters are the exact same on this side. And then the only difference pretty much on this side is that instead of an airlock, it's got the escape pod, so you go down the ladder. Will this fit 14 people? Well, I guess the captain will have to go down to the ship. <laughs> you mean explode with the ship? You don't really sink it, in the spaceship. I mean, this ship, like the actual ship, not the Minecraft version that I made, it actually has a lot of problems. Like, the landing gear makes no sense, and the escape pod definitely wouldn't fit 14 people. So, well, I mean, it, it's all right, but... Just get some um, zip ties and, and strap their wrists to some pipes or something, and they should be okay. They're just cram in there. This is a room, I'm not really super proud of this room, it doesn't look that great. The one on the other side is the same too. It's the landing gear maintenance room, so there's a little airlock right here where you go in and you can go in the landing gear. Uh, and there's a whole room dedicated to it because the ship is so small, and the landing gear mechanism takes up such a big part of the ship that they need a whole room to dedicate it, or dedicated to that, so... That's my reasoning behind it, but the room doesn't look that great in my opinion. But. I'm guessing the I'm guessing the Intrepid has something very similar to that. Yeah, probably. And the TOS, because um, it has landing gear too. Well, only the saucer, and they're really just 
I feel like most of the time it just crashed. I don't think they'd actually use them very much. But yeah, this is secondary engineering for the impulse engines. Uh, that sign. The yeah, engines aren't I'm great. Not... I know. I'm just kidding. Well, I, I don't know. I, 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 didn't, I didn't love the engines I made, but well, they, they for did the job. Well, they're they're okay for the amount of space that you're given. Yeah, they they do the job. I love uh, these yeah, corridors. So thank you. Yeah, I like the red alert kind of. The, the, I think it's the pumpkin up there on the top block. I think it, it looks really cool. I like how it kind of makes it look like the ship is at red alert, even though it's not. But. Or it's just that the crew's paranoid and are at red alert. <laughs> Sorry, that's my dog. Right, cut this part out really quick. Okay. I'll, I'll tell you when to start back up again. All right. Sorry for that cut, but my dog started barking. Yeah. So um yeah, continuing on. This is the med bay or sick bay. Um, pretty simple. There's just a computer screen here with a readout of somebody, and then there's obviously just some beds along the side here. And here's the computer core, I'm guessing. This is interesting. Yeah, I'm not, uh, I've said this a lot, but a, a lot of the things on this ship I, is, is... Uh, I'm not super amazed with. But I mean, this is, yeah, this is the computer core, and it's attached, um, on the deck below us, it's attached to the deflector. We'll see that is in a minute. That, is that coolant? Or the core right there, that tree it's trunk. It's the tree trunk thing in the middle. That's just supposed to look all techy. It's not. I didn't think. Okay, it's that that's uh, that's a good enough answer. I can accept <laughs> yeah. that. Uh, so oh wait, and then how do you over here? get up? Oh yeah, that's how you get up there. Yeah. Transporter. So we'll go I haven't second. seen this yet. That's cool. Yep. This is the transporter room. You can see through Trekkie's eyes. That's what it looks like when you're inside here. Um. It's, Beam again, up, pretty Scotty. simple and pretty standard. Don't say that. So that's what people say when they've never seen Star Trek. They think they're being smart. I've never Star seen Trek. it before, though. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's that, That's it for this deck. We'll go to the top deck. Yeah, I've been on the ship before, so I know where I'm going. Yes. I definitely um, know where I'm going. Actually, come here for a second. <laughs> I'm into a wall. Um, this is kind of hard to see from anywhere else in the ship, but if you look through these windows, you can actually see the torpedo storage area through there. Interesting, so interesting. Thank so you. what what sort of deck is this? What do you get here? Um, Alright, so this is the engineering deck, and all of these consoles are... So this front room right here, this is, I'm guessing, or not guessing, this is kind of my idea of what like the communications room would be like. So this is just kind of where they would send out signals and receive signals, and I think that, or I don't think... My idea, know. since it's... I know. Since it's so close to the torpedo bay, they can probably also fire torpedoes in here, too. Or just and general universal consoles for anything you wanted. It's just a room filler, whatever. <laughs> uh, this is another console room, just meant to... I don't know what it does. Who cares? I like Again, your use of BLUs. Mm-hmm. I love blinky yep, light it's units. Look, it's all just supposed to look TOS-y. Yeah. And then in the here is, is the local... This is main engineering. Um, this is. Ooh, I like this. Thank you. Yeah, this is the warp core. It's ver or horizontal, almost said vertical. And uh, the, there's a little hatch down at the back ah. of the secondary, where the whole warp core will eject if they need it to. You can see that from the outside. I'll yeah. See that later. Yeah, we'll we'll get out there later. Let's just go out back out to the outside. But yeah, that that warp core was kind of tricky to do since there's. First of all, it's single beamed, and there's not a lot of room. But it it, it worked fine. It looks pretty good. Well, at least you can make it small, considering it's single beamed. All right. So if you follow me, I will show you. A two by two deck. core wouldn't look very good on the ship. No, definitely not. So this is the secondary ladder, which leads down to the bottom deck. The cargo oh, deflector deck. dish and and cargo. Is that right? Yep. So on either side, this ah. is the main landing ramp. So, yeah, just a glimpse of the outside. And this is the ramp where they bring cargo in or... Wow, wow, wow. Ground. So, yeah, come on wow, back in. Wow. Enough of that. <laughs> so, yeah, on either side of the ramp, we've got the two cargo holds. We'll go through cargo bay one because it's right there. Here is the computer core room, which at the bottom of the ship is the planetary sensor, which is kind of hard to see since the ship is landed. Um, but it's attached to the computer core, which is this thing that I'm touching right here. Touch it. And it 
goes into this chamber here, which is attached to the uh, main deflector. I'm stuck. Great. Okay. I think I got it. I'm good. I, I got my senses back. Okay. Hey, what's right, this? So is that a person? Really yeah, it is. Radiation uh, yeah, sensor. I didn't, I didn't even know what that was. I just picked a random L cars. Or it could be a an alien red and glowing life form. You never know. Or it could, could be, be a Tholian. Poor thing. Lag, sorry. My bad. No Turn problem. on the render distance. It says 16, the maximum for the server, so. One more time. A 6 should be enough for the ship. That's good. Right. Let's hurry this up a little bit. I'm running out of. kind of running out of time, but. Yo, we we'll, won't we'll get it. So, um, yeah, this is the hatch I was talking about. This is where the warp core gets blown away if it's about to blow up or something. And down here are the impulse engines from the outside, and obviously the landing gear down here. Dude, come here. Yep. I just found a problem with your ship. Um, when the warp core um, comes out... Um, well, it's not my ship, so blame the author. Of the it's just like, novels. you know... What, because it looks like a butt? Pooping it out? Hey, I, I reached the immature section of this channel, okay? Well, yeah. Well, I mean, it does the job, and I didn't design the ship. It's somebody else's fault. I forget the author of the novels who, or with, with, uh, where this ship is featured, but, um... Overall, it's a good gear. ship, except for that particular part. Where does this, does the landing gear sort of... Okay, yeah, that was my next ship. Point. So, on the actual ship, there's the actual foot pad. It folds up kind of like an umbrella, and then the landing leg pulls it into the ship, and that's kind of how it works on here. It doesn't make a lot of sense. It, yeah. It obviously wouldn't really fit in there, but it looks cool, so. So what's the inspiration behind this? Oh, there's a planetary sensor. I see it. Yep. The, the uh, sea lanterns. That's the motorbike. The what's sensor. the inspiration behind that? Behind what? The motorbike. Is that just because Franklin had it? Uh, well, kind of. And also, in some of the reference pictures I saw of this ship, they had, like, a little buggy inside the cargo hold so that it would drive down the ramp. And since I can't make a whole car, I just decided to make a motorcycle. No, that, that, that's understandable, yeah. It's adorable. So, yeah. um, oh, you want to show them the inside of the nacelle real quick? Well, it's not really an inside, it's just machinery. It's, it's only on the port side at the moment. It's but, like um, a yeah, tube can, by... I can copy it over for you if you want. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, that would be great. I can do that on camera, it should be easy. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. This is laggy as crap. All right, so yeah. At what, after he's done done Do with that, that's about it. There. Cool. Is there anything uh, yeah. in the pylons that needs to be mirrored? Mm -hmm. Like what? Could Wait, possibly. Is there anything in the pylons that needs to be mirrored? Oh no, the pylons are just slabs. There's no, there's nothing in there. They're solid. Is that lined up? One more block there. Wonder how this would work. Single beam, so that should be easy enough. So laggy, I don't like this. Bam. It's not lagging for me. Oh, I gotta bypass the Wii. Bam. That was a long moment of silence. Is it in there? Um, you can check, yeah. Yep, it's in there. Thanks for that. You need to learn Wii. I know, I know, I know. I'm still working on it. They don't teach that stuff in school. <laughs> they should. It's a great life skill. Okay. So, mm -hmm. anyways, guys, right. let's go back to our starting position. Alright. Get rid of this. Uh, one more thing. This little hole right here, that's the torpedo launcher. Alright, that's all. That's interesting. That's really tiny. I agree, but I didn't design. That'd be cool it. if that just like glowed or something. <laughs> Every right before. I, at first, before I really liked the ship, and I just kind of saw pictures of it. At first, I thought this was like the deflector, but <laughs> then I realized it had a giant deflector on the bottom. Look down, you'll find it. Okay. Right, so yeah, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the tour. Yep. Um, subscribe to Creeper's channel. His name is. MCPE sci-fi builds. Build. Finish your sentence. <laughs> I was going to say lemons, but... <laughs>
Sorry. All right. So thanks for recording the tour for me. And guess that's it.